Hey, okay, folks, here's a 2024 Fleetwood G Frontier GTX 39TA at the 2024 FRVTA Florida Super Show in Tampa, Florida. Now, looking at the outside here, okay, this looks like the Spring Creek. No, maybe not. Uh, yeah, well, it looks like the Spring Creek paint scheme. Um, anyway, you can see this is the first bay here, like an L-shaped bay. And here's your main barn door bay here, as well as your accompanying side bay here. It should be noted there is an optional slide tray. And here is your other bay here with your central vat and your transfer switch. Here is your electric bay. And here is your inverter. And you note that the difference between here and say the other GTS in the lineup, this they actually added two additional storage areas here on either side, which some other models don't have. Now this is your automa uh, your leveling jets reservoir and pump. And uh, here's a nice shot of the rear here, folks. You can see why and reason why we love this is just the, the sporty look of this coach and its design. Now right above me right here is the exterior television with sound bar. And here are some of the interior finishes. Now here are the paint schemes right here. As I said before, I believe this is the Spring Creek, but there's also Explorer, Bandit, Al Albaline, and Wichita. Uh, this is the particular floor plan here, the 39TA. Let's go inside and check it out. Now, notice this unit has three steps. So here's the touch screen right here for control of lights here. And look at the nice old flooring here. Glossy residential. Not necessarily a favorite of mine. I like to have, uh, you know, something that I can... I don't have to worry about sliding in my socks as I quite often find myself in. So let's look at the front dash area here. And as you see here, here we have the uh, camera monitors right here, as you can see right there. Uh, you can toggle between them right here, looking at the side view, etc. And you can even do a uh, a split view of each of them. Pretty cool. And here's the radio. Um, you can see this home feature right here. You can look at for your radio, Sirius XM, uh, rear camera, etc. Um, and you'll see here's your digital dash. This is a simulation right here. You got your mirror heat and control, as well as a nice little tubby down here. Um, we actually use this for storing our dash cover, which you use to protect it from our tats. But anyway, there's the dash right there. And let's continue the video. Do you want to show them what's in the cabinets? Well, I guess we can do that, sure. Here we have the slide-out cabinets. They slide, they don't open out, and that's because of the, da uh, the drop-down bunk above. There's your LTU booster. And here is your Vega Touch, as well as your Wi-Fi Ranger and your switch for your light above the, uh, the bed. All right, and here we have our LCI leveling, electronic leveling system, as well as our bypass controls for our slide outs. Now here is, I, I guess they have the location of the inverter because this has the uh, Firefly system rather than the Precision Plus system for the electron, uh, electronic control. Okay. We have a really neat dining room here. Look at the storage space. You've got nice, long, three adjustable shelves right there. Actually, two adjustable shelves, but three shelves. You have your TV and your sound bar. You have the adapter table, which if you have not seen, you're in for a treat. As you can see, we got two different le levels. Just pull this right on out. Twist it around this way. And now you have a dinner table for four or if you prefer, an L-shaped desk to work on. And uh, you actually have some drawers down below. 
And I'll open this side over here to show you. Well, right. actually, doors down below. You said drawers down below. Okay. You did? You said doors or drawers? I forget. I don't remember now. But anyway. Is that two shelves there? One adjustable? And then there's a, another cabinet below and a cabinet on the side. There are plugs also there on the side. All right. This one does not have a shelf in it. And Marie's going to show you how easy it is to put the adapt table back to where it was. Maybe. I don't remember how to shut it. <laughs> Usually it just swings. That's right. Uh, <laughs> there you go. It is very simple. And like I said, this bar, is, they made it so much simpler for the 2000. Before you had to, uh, there were two little latches, but this bar is so much easier. Now, is there storage behind the TV set? Is there storage behind the TV set? We shall see. Does that answer your question? Wow, look at all that storage back yeah, there. Yeah, nice big tray. At least the bottom area. part has all the electronics, but the top has got plenty of space for all sorts of things. One thing I see is a slight issue. You be really careful shutting it because of the wires. Right, you might get caught up there. Yeah, there we go. So that's the dining area. Right across from here, you have two reclining seats. They are electric, and they do light up. We have storage on this side, storage in the middle, and storage on the end. So plenty of storage. Let's look at the kitchen area. Oh, but let's look, before we do that, let's look at the uh, cabinets above. They are all passed through. Look at that. A uh, total of six, eight four. doors. Four cabinets. Well, technically, if you want, it's 16, right? It's eight, but it's like... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I, was, I was right, eight. <laughs> Man, after, these, after a while, I got confused. What do you think about these uh, balance materials, dear? It's different. It's I think different. the cats would love it if they could reach up. Yeah. Cats can reach anywhere. Okay, in the kitchen here, we have a cabinet here with an adjustable shelf. Above the microwave convection oven, we also have some room. Uh -huh. Like I said, right below it is the convection microwave. And then we have a nice like frosted that. panel. I like that. Yeah, and it, this is actually quite quite long, but let me see here. Oh, I, yeah, I can just about touch it back, but I'm on my tippy toes. It's a nice big cabinet for your dishware, and another cabinet over here with an adjustable shelf. So lots wow, of this cabin is, space. This is kind of like a, an L-shaped kitchen. Yeah, going down we have our, our kitchen sink. And we have a nice big panel here, yeah, here with your electric controls. So, can you pull it up all the way? I can. But that's bothering me a little bit today, folks, so uh, I apologize for not doing that. And it's got USB on the bottom. Here's an induction top stove, as well as another power tower oh, with just, more. Now, are there any outlets up here? I see, I see a light switch. I guess that's for this one right here. Okay. Down below, we have a small pantry. We have four drawers. So I'll give you the size of one of them. And down below, you got a one big long drawer. You have an area here in the corner. Look at that space, folks. Wow. Yeah, and then you have the space below your sink. Now I'm going to get Ben back here next to me because uh, I'm going to show you the refrigerator, but look what happens when you turn around and look at the refrigerator. Look at those two big, long windows. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's beautiful. And in the sunshine, you can see what's outside. But let's look at the quick look at the refrigerator. And then, of course, you have your freezer. I actually feel cold air coming out of those. You do. I know some of them are on, which is really nice. <laughs> Although it's not too uh, warm right now. Now I shut this door on purpose. Here is the bathroom, and the reason I'll sh tell you why I shut this door here shortly. But uh, here is the bathroom, plenty of leg room. You've got your sink here. You've got some space below the sink along with your toilet paper holder. You have your medicine cabinet above the sink, of course. You've got three fix two fixed shelves here and then this shelf here. And then, of course, we have a shower, and there's a towel bar there, or towel rack, towel hook. Ben's going into the shower. Well, this shower gets a 9 out of 10. 
Because for some reason it's not the guillotine bar. All right. But Maurice, do I show you what it's like for people more of moderate height? Moderate height? Actually, this is interesting too. You may not have noticed this. I want you to look around and tell me where the water uh, control switches are. There's up there. What are they? They are down here. They're down. Oh, that's unusual. Yeah, I know. It has a shower uh, miser in it. But I don't know why it's down there so low. Well, I guess for, for those short people who. Uh, You're complaining about being too tall. Maybe it's actually meant for foot controls. Oh. No, I don't think so. Commercial dog. <laughs> anyway, if you know why that's down there, let us know. Because I sure have no clue. I mean, why would you bend down? So, uh, is there an answer to the question why you closed that door out here? I guess I am. Because I can get to the bedroom this way. Well, I thought me would try to open the door over here. Okay, I did open the door. There you go. The reason I left that door shut is this is a slide here, folks. So basically, when this slide comes in, I was showing you, you can still access the bathroom. But you, this stays open all during the day while you're all set up. And you have, but in this room, you have to make the bed. I mean, my gosh, you can actually make the bed before you close the slide pretty awesome. So you can actually get to the bed, take a nap while your husband's driving down the road or the wife's driving down the road or whoever's driving down the road. The TV set comes down from the ceiling as Ben is messing with it. We do have a lot of cabinet space above the bed. This is a north-south bedroom. You have a small corner cabinet, which I will pause while Ben plays with well, the Well, I'm trying not door. to box behind us. Apparently the TV set comes down from the ceiling, the ceiling yes. but it's not locking in place for whatever reason. So okay. if anyone so knows how to do it, please let us know. It probably just saw uh, it's a show model and travel here. You have a lot of open storage up above, a couple cabinets. And, and this is a pass through cabinet with four doors. And now on either side of the bed, you got a couple of shelves. You can put your glasses and phone at nighttime. There's also an end table on that side of the bed where Ben is. And one cabinet above with two adjustable shelves. Now, you see, you, now I'm going to look at this other closet. We still have another surprise for you. Okay, look at this nice little closet. Got a little shoe rack here. This has another door on this side, so they got some more, even more space. And more, is that? And another shoe rack. Another it's shoe separated. Rack. It's divided in the middle. Okay. That way you can't encroach on my space. Uh, I see. Okay, over here on each side we have two small drawers and two large drawers. We'll give you a look. There we go. Now you saw a bathroom that you can access while you drive, but I'll take you to the back here and wait to see what we got back here. First we get the washer and dryer right here, stackable. And then look at this, folks. Another bathroom. This is the half bath. Have a medicine cabinet there with two adjustable shelves, vessel sink, a couple drawers here on the side. We have the space under the sink, two more drawers, and you saw what that one's like. And I'm going to take you over here, and here is the other part of the bathroom. Look at this, and look at here linen closet, tons of storage. Wow, isn't that impressive? If you like us, we appreciate having two toilets in a ridge. Some people are like, why do you need it? Well, trust me, when you get older, you especially need two bathrooms. And Ben and I actually had the uh, unfortunate incident, uh, it's been a while now, but we both got food poisoning at a restaurant at the same time. And if we hadn't had two bathrooms, I think we would have been in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> But well, anyway, what a, out, what a terrible way to end the video. I know. Why don't you try out the business and see how it fits? How, how, how That's it fine. Plenty of room. I might even put, put a shelf there so I could do some reading or something. A little shelf would be nice there. And you have an e-dress window That's right here. Right. There's not a shelf there. Hold and on. a fantastic fan. Well, that's the video. And uh, on that note, it's time to end. No, just kidding. Uh, just thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Help us to grow and reach more people. And also, 
leave us a, a comment if you would uh, give us a little feedback on our uh, production here and remember to always open the doors to adventures and start all your journeys with the, the RBTs. RBTs. Have a great day folks. Bye-bye.